Hey everyone, today we're looking at this frame of these historic pictures of the Wells River Flood of 1927. I found this while cleaning out an abandoned property over the weekend. First picture, got this train trussel with all the debris getting stuck on it. And just look at the background. You can see the river just flooding its banks into the woods. Got a train up on there too. B&M Bridge between Wells River, Vermont and Woodsville, New Hampshire. The next one, wash out near B&M Depot, Wells River, Vermont. Look at that, got an old train station in the background. And look at those old time signal towers right there. Back before they actually had the lights. Take a look at those old telephone poles with the multiple slats of wood. Got an old box car there off to the right. Old train station in the back. Just take a look at how the rails are holding the ties together while the whole embankment just washed out. Next picture here. Oh, look at that. It washed out the bridge completely. And what you're seeing there, like in the down here, that's part of the actual structure of the bridge, the I-beams that would have been sitting up here on the shelf. And what you're seeing going across, that's just ties being held on by the strong rails. It looks like to the right, the granite structure is completely gone. This is Deck Bridge on M&W Railroad, Wells River, Vermont. That's a big washout. Okay, down here, looks like there's a water tower that floated down from somewhere, or at least got knocked off its foundation. Whole neighborhood there is underwater. That is Standard Oil Field at Wells River, Vermont. Up next, here we just got a flooding picture. This is Main Street looking south. It's a good few feet of water there. Next, Main Street, Wells River, Vermont, November 4th, 1927. Whole downtown area is just flooded with a few feet of water. Just imagine the basements are completely submerged. Next picture here, Upper Main Street, Wells River, November 4th, 1927. More flooding. Next picture, look at that house just knocked off its foundation. Doesn't even look like the house was there. It looks like maybe it got floated down from somewhere else. Possibly, maybe not. So it looks like there's a roof in the background, like just the front portion of the house got knocked off. Flood damage to South Main Street, Wills River. Yeah, so this looks like the aftermath after it was receding, because you can see the evidence of all the mud of where the water was. And you can see the river in the background. It looks like, if you look way back here, it looks like there's another building knocked off its foundation. And the next one here got a whole bunch more damage. All these buildings, it looks like there's a few smaller ones in the center. Maybe a garage or some sheds all knocked off center. Whole bunch of flooding. It looks like there's ice there forming because this is November. It looks like you got a bunch of ice here. It's starting to freeze up before it recedes. That was Railroad Street after the flood. Next we have Main Street showing flood damage. Look at all that ice all over the road, all over the place. And is that a gas station? It looks like you got some pumps right there in the center. Maybe. Old vintage pumps. And the last picture here is Prescott's Garage. Got a lot of flood damage, certainly. What is that in the center? Does anyone know what that is? Is that a car? Looks like an old car. First I thought it looked like a cannon. Now that's definitely a gas pump there. See, uh, that's pretty cool how they used to do that back in the day. You don't see that too much these days. But I, I've seen it done with asphalt shingles. But more commonly back then, they'd actually write things on the roof of businesses with shingles. Some houses have that. They'll do a collage of a whole different color scheme. They'll have stripes or zigzags. Hope this video was interesting. Thanks for watching.